Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to get the details of the particular window by using get details of window action as part of data extraction. Now in this tutorial, we will learn how to get the details of the UI element in the particular window which we have by using get details of UI element in window action as part of the data extraction. Let me drag and drop this get details of UI element in window action onto the workspace. Over here, it is asking for the UI element, which UI element attributes are required or the values are required to get the details, right? Now I'm going to select an UI element over here by adding add new UI element. Now let us assume I want to get the details of the text box over here under the employee ID. So I'm going to capture this UI element by clicking on control and left button of the mouse. And then I'm going to click on done. Now I want to get the details of this particular UI element. All right. Now, if you go to the advanced, what is the attribute name? What is the own text that we have or else exists, location and size and enable or not? These are all the attribute names which you have. So first of all, I'm going to select own text and then the output will be stored in the attribute value. All right, let me click on save. As a common practice, to show you the output, I'm going to use display message. Let's drag and drop this display message onto the workspace. Over here, I'm going to give the title as UI automation. And after that message to display, what is the output that we got it as part of the attribute value that we are going to display the same. All right, let's click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see the output has given as null because of in our text box that we have null values, right? So that, that the value of the own text has been given as null. All right, now I will change a small thing over here for the UI element. I will select a label over here by clicking on add new UI element and I'm going to select over here as a text over here. Employee name, the text I have selected. All right, let's click on done. And then I'm going to click on save. Now, what is the output attribute own text value that we'll get it as employee name. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see the output over here, the attribute value of the own text of the particular UI element. Right now it is showing as employee name. All right, let's click on OK. Now, if you see on my screen, I'm having this UI element like employee name or the text box. I want to know the position of this text box or the label of the employee name. How can I go ahead and do that by using get details of UI element in window? But if you observe, if we want to know the position of the particular window, then we are going to use get details of the window in data extraction actions. But over here, I'm going to get the details or the location of the size, location and size of the particular UI element by using get details of UI element in window. Let's double click on that. And over here, if you see under advanced, I'm having location and size. I'm going to select that attribute name and the output will be stored in the attribute value as a variable. All right, let's click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution has been started. And you can see the position over here. That employee name position that is 644 and 218 and the height and the width, you can see the width is 84 and the height is 30. These are all the details that what we got it for the employee name that is label for, for the particular UI element. Now I will select this text box or the radio button based on that we can get the changes of the location over there. Now I'm going to select the another UI element by adding add new UI element. There I will select radio button over here and then I'm going to click on done. 
Now, in this case, what it has to display, it will display the location and size of the radio button for the mail. Let's click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And if you see, the radio button position is 783-312. And you can see the height and the width that we are having 48 and 17 of the radio button mail. All right, let's click on OK. I hope you understand how to work with get details of the UI element in Windows action as part of the data extraction actions in Power Automate Desktop.